everybody. So today's Saturday. That means it's time for family movie night. And this week we're continuing on my foreign movie month. And this is where I try to pick movies that are in different languages, that are family films, that are a good way to introduce your kids to unique cultures and uh, and languages. And in this case, we're picking an anime film. It's from Studio Ghibli. It's Castle in the Sky. And this is, I think, probably their most underappreciated film. I love this film. I think it is it has such great atmosphere and the animation is so beautiful. And it's a really, really fun adventure. It's probably one of the most just outright proud pleasing enjoyable films from studio ghibli it's not trying to challenge you the way that like a palm poco or a, or a spirit away might be you know with some more a little bit more daring this is a little more conventional but in some ways that's nice just to have a an adventure story you basically have this girl named Sheeta, and she has this this necklace that she doesn't this this amulet she doesn't know what it is or where it came from but she ends up on this adventure with this kid named pazu and uh, there's this mysterious island called the puta and uh and as they they're chased by these pirates who are trying to get the amulet and once they find Laputa, then there's a series of like challenges and obstacles and and uh, in trying to uh, get the magic of the island. There's also this robot that's also protecting the island. And uh, he's really, you know, fun and well designed. It's kind of like a steampunkish kind of feel to it with the robot. And uh, and the bond between Sheeta and Pazu is really sweet and authentic. And also the pirates are super funny and well done. And yeah, you can watch this in the dub, but you can also watch it subbed. This has one of the best scores from, from Joe Hasashi. I, I can't believe that he has never been nominated for an Academy Award. He is just one beautiful piece of music after another. This is one of those. I love the way that the amulet is drawn, the, the bright blue light. And uh, it's very calming. It's very peaceful. I think you could relax and and really find this movie kind of therapeutic because of that. And uh, it's it's funny. It's it's charming. It's good adventure. It's got good characters. It's like I said. I just think it's really underappreciated for Studio Ghibli. You never hear it talked about as one of the best, but I think it's one of the most satisfying of any of their films, uh, any of the Miyazaki films for sure. And like I said, I especially just love the animation and the adventure that you go on. It has a spirit of adventure in the, if you want to watch the dub, which these Disney dubs were absolutely outstanding. They really are the gold standard for the best of anime dubbing. And uh, this one, it has James Vanderbeek and Anna Paquin and uh, which uh, are great for Pazu and Sheeta, Cloris Leachman playing Dola, who's the head of the pirates. Uh, and uh, so that's a lot of fun. You have Mark Hamill, Jim Cummings. So a really good dub. But since this is foreign movie month, I think it makes the most sense to watch it in the original Japanese. Uh, and uh, and that, that was from 1986. Uh, and then there's other dubs along the way. Uh, but uh, but if you can watch it subbed, I think it, you will have a better experience. You can watch this on Max, uh, currently at least. And uh, and uh, if you want a way to kind of introduce your kids to anime, maybe Studio Ghibli, but they're not quite ready for how weird Spirited Away is. Uh, and maybe they, they, I think Totoro is a great, is a great start. But then this, this has more of an adventure uh, so it might appeal, especially to like young boys and uh, it just for kids that might need a little more than Totoro. This is this got pirates and, and uh, uh, exploration and adventure. And so I think that that it'd be a good one, a good gateway for anime and for Studio Ghibli. Uh, so check it out. I think they'll really enjoy it. Great one to watch as a whole family. Uh, so let me know what you think of this one. Uh, where does it rank for you in Studio Ghibli films? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section or on Twitter. Please like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. I'll have links to the playlist for all of my anime reviews and also my uh, my foreign like, movie month reviews. So please check that out. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, please check out the patron group and merch store. In the merch store, you get hashtag animation junkie shirts along with I'm an animation girl shirts, which are super fun. So take a look at that. And thanks so much, everybody. We'll talk to you later.